Hi, I wanted to put together the most basic video I could about how qubits go together. Basically, all the pieces are the same. They have two clips and they have four of these hexagon holes that are right, right here, okay, for the two clips, the four hexagon holes. And then what it is, it's a modular idea where these pieces have these little clips or these little prongs and they're able to just snap together like that. And then you could snap it anywhere you want. You could snap it over here if, if that's what you want. So it allows a lot of design flexibility and they're easy to put together and they stay together also. They're not so weak that they fall apart either. So I'll go ahead and take these three pieces and I'll make a triangle out of them. I'm going to try to think about this and I'm going to snap a piece right here so it starts to make a triangle, 60 degree angle. And then I can see that another piece could go right here. So I'm going to go ahead and layer it and put it together. So here we go. We've got yourself a nice little triangle, okay? Well, what can you do with that? It's not a lot. You know, you set it up, it's going to fall over. It's not of much use. But you take three more pieces and you copy what you just did. So that's, that's pretty simple. You just go ahead and look at it and you say, well, where is the pieces? Oh, it's like this. And uh, actually, it, is a, it requires a little thinking. Okay, here we go. And then you maybe put this piece right here. Okay, so this is exactly like that one. So I copied it. And now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it exactly the way that one is. So now I have duplicated my own work. First I designed this piece and then I made a copy of it. Well again, what can you do? You can't, you know, you can't do a lot. They have no structure. So now that's where the bridge pieces come in. These bridge pieces, they have like this little slot right here, a little slot, and then the edge of a cubit is like a rail. And so the rail can fit right in there and it fits snugly, but it holds on tight. So that's how that works. Now, let's go ahead and do again. We'll do another one right over here. And one more right there. So now I've got three of these, and I'm able to take the next piece, bring it up, and find the spot for it that's accurate, and it's lined up with the one below. And let's go ahead and give it, oh, it's a tough one. They are kind of tough when you first start with these because they're brand new, but they're made to be form-fitting, very tight, and durable. So now I've gone ahead and made a structure and I've got, you know, I've got lateral support. I've got the, the, the shear structure here and the lateral support. These are very basic, basic, you know, ideas from architecture. And that's the way cubits works. It's that simple. So you can look at the examples that we have online. We have a lot of examples and um, get ideas for what you can build. You're not going to find step-by-step-by-step by step by step instructions because that's how the people with those little brick toys, you know, those little brick toys that people snap together like that? Mm -hmm. And that's how they work. They have a step-by-step step instructions that anybody can do, but not for us. That's too robotic, and I feel that children need to learn how to design and structure and imagine and create and build things of their own imagination that's going to be far more important to them than studying step-by-step -step instructions that tells them exactly what they should do because life isn't that way and so <laughs> i think design and with toys should be a little more open-ended and that's uh, about the best way to go okay thanks a lot